ESL1 Cologne was one hell of an event with Team Liquid looking like a true top team, but between round one and the finals, there were plenty more that you could have easily missed. And that's why we're here. We gathered the very best place from ESL1 Cologne just for you to enjoy. So sit back, relax, and here are your FPS Place of the Week. Eric will take him down. A good double kill for him, and now it's all on Saibu here. 14 seconds left. Oh. Oh no, the bomb can't. It might be right in front. So, oh my god! He lines it up and shuts it down! And now we just need to wait. They can't plant the bomb anymore. Terry, yes, there's no time. It. He oh, he does get it in the last possible second. And Saibu is back for more. Looking for him. Already with the triple. Just needs one more click of that scope. And Terry is hiding behind Tetris. Saibu knows. He's got back to back quad kills. Winning it for Vitality, you've never seen anything like it. Liquid are now stuck because they identify there's only one and they all come back, they all have range, they all have the bomb in front of them, oh. but the shots are coming in for Liquid. Suddenly it goes down and just boom, it's even simple, couldn't surprise by swinging back out. Low HP on the last remaining player and boom, it gets them both. That is well played from Boomits, the new boy delivering in a must win pistol for Na'Vi. Still, he's on 34 ahead of everyone else. Nitro needs to make up for the fact that they lost B last time. RPK goes down, at least with two. Nitro steps back out again, and Zaiwu to get the bomb back. Again, we said double overtime isn't out of possibility. Isn't unbelievably oh. impossible, but it might be with Zaiwu finally hitting shots like that as he steps back into the door. And he won't plant. There's no rush. Slow it down as Nap walks out. Zaiwu confirms the second map for Vitality. Very decent indeed. Time running low. There's the scout. It looks like NIP are actually going to take this round. Three versus one. Time is just not there for Electronic, but the frag is. Can he even get the bomb down yes. at this point? Yes, he Five can. seconds, Ooh. but he's going to try and bait it out. Now he can plant. He can still get it down. He can still get it down. One versus one. Res, he didn't push. And now Electronic has the advantage. He saw his head. He saw him. He knows he's there. He goes back up on the bomb. Oh! Oh! That is as close to crunch as you'll ever see. He just barely got that plant off. It's alive. This? Oh, that is risky with the stack. I think he thought they were further down. I think he was oh, no, so dummy and simple through the smoke point. Plotsky as well. He's just going to watch towards CT with the AWP. Smoke from his teammate. He gets through. Force doesn't oh, know he's there. That is just so oh. smart. He is one step ahead, literally, in this case, every single time of the play that NIP was making. Check middle with Taiwu now. He's back to the bomb site. 30 seconds left. Yeah, they need a hero performance out of Apex right now. Otherwise, this is going to be another bomb site lost for them. He's so flashed, and Saibu gonna be there to try and pick it up, does get the second kill, and somehow turns it. Oh, he's get one more headshot to take down Stanislaw, and finally Circus gonna be there, 14 seconds left. Behind the pillar waiting, oh, no. and he's gonna be so quick, that's the quad kill, Saibu! Very complicated indeed. Does Apex want to go for this or wait for the backup? He should wait. If he goes through and goes down, that's going to be a nightmare. As the bomb tries to go down, it's a little bit late on the plan. Oh my goodness! My God! It's the only way! They don't have armor, they need to kill fast! A headshot through the smoke! Seems like it. Oh no, he's forgot his back turned along though. All oh, the timing on this is so brutal. There is someone inside cave. Zipnix is watching for a flank, but device might just go down for free. Yes, it was a bit of a struggle. But that has got to be head scratching for Astralis. Why is he there at this moment and how do you deal with it? Apex is going to get another and now he can retreat. It's a retreating battle, but oh, he goes back for more. Apex, he's not going to stop. An ocean of fire in front of them. But they do have a three man stack on this side. The Vice has had a really rough game. Flashed, he's going to get that shot and that has to feel a little bit good. Out middle of the air to take down Alex and now they're pushing. Oh, oh, oh no you're going to be kidding me. Takes every single one from nothing to the AWP ace. That event was incredibly hype. But if that wasn't hype enough for you, make sure to tune in on Squad every weekday at 8 p.m. EST for all your hype esports news and coverage. Also, don't be scared to hit that like button if you like this content. And check us out on all our socials at Squad State. Maybe DM us some memes. I'll see you next time.